Hello, today we are going to give the review of the um, Epiphone, the new Joe Bonamassa Epiphone Les Paul. Let's give it a, this is pretty much right out of the box, not even in tune. It's got, pretty sure it's got the 50s wiring, pro buckers, and it's got a Graph, uh, graph Tech Tusk Nut. go through it it's pretty cool I think for the money you get you're pretty much you're getting a high-end Epiphone it feels like an Epiphone but the fretboard is giving me Gibson vibes the rest of it sort of it's got a switchcraft switch actually and let's look at the wiring because now you can actually verify if they're bullshit or not on the pops because you think they gave a switchcraft switch Let's see if they did a uh, good quality pot. Because that's the one thing I looked up a little bit about it. And when I looked up, I mean, the guy who dropped it off told me like three things. So I didn't look up anything yet. I'm just kind of spitballing. Uh, oh, yeah. Holy oh, Nice. CTS pots. Looking good. I'm going to show you guys. So here we go, and will you look at that? Patent applied for, that's PAF, so BB2. These are actually the real deal. These are the burst buckers. That will be burst bucker two. This one will probably say BB1. So you get Gibson pickups. Pro bucker Epiphone pickups are essentially copies of the burst bucker anyway. So you, I think the old, older models, look at that. That classic Gibson dry as heck fingerboard. You know? Epiphone tuners. They look nice. Epiphone. Clouson style. This guy's a little crooked right here. Hey, what you gonna do? But yeah, so you're actually getting burst buckers in these. So they are they are giving you a more upgraded. I'm actually gonna put some Dunlop strap buttons on it i already got that one done so these come with a regular strap button if you want to lock and strap button you got to add one anyways um all right it's all set up and i'm going to attach a um a link or i have a link in the description for the specs Essentially, the bridge pickup is the Burst Bucker 3, this is the Burst Bucker 2, Switchcraft, C Switch, Jack, CTS with pods with uh, 50s wiring. Um, it's got the, basically this is the um, copy of his, Joe Bonamassa's Lazarus 59 Les Paul. It's got the 59 neck feel. Um, I checked all the frets with a fret rocker and I didn't find any uneven frets. So for an Epiphone, that is a huge upgrade, having no uneven frets. This guitar is $8.99 from where the cheapest I saw it. Um, it does have an Epiphone bridge. It'd be a lot cooler if it had like a Tone Pro bridge or a more Gibson quality bridge, but this is the same bridge you're gonna and stop tail bar you get on any Epiphone. Uh, but it's okay, it's not a crappy bridge or anything. Um, it's not, you know, it, you could upgrade it really nice with like a Callaham. If you really want to spend money or just a, a Tone Pros bridge would be really cool. But it's got a um, Tusk nut. I mean, it's good. I wouldn't say you need to change it. After the setup, it plays good. And um, for $8.99, you're not going to get 
um, a nicer Les Paul. This thing is awesome, especially if you want a 59 style Les Paul, get this one, this one's awesome. Um, you can easily spend $2,000 on a Gibson Les Paul and it still might need some front work and it probably needs a new nut. And um, you know, Gibson guitars are really nice, but every once in a while you get just a lemon and they let a lot, they let lemons out of their factory from time to time. Um, Epiphone is more of a value, but you know, they, they're very consistent. I, I guarantee you that all the uh, Epiphone Joe Bonamassa's leaving the factory are more or less the same guitar. You're not running any risk. Whereas if you get a um, 59 reissue Gibson Les Paul and you spend $4,000 on it, I'm sure chances are you're gonna get a really good one, but you're running the chance of something getting slipped through the cracks that just isn't worth that kind of money. Whereas this is absolutely worth $899. Um, you pay 50 or 60 bucks for setup and it's ready to rock. I mean, all I had to do was adjust the neck. I had to foul the nut. I had to adjust the action, I had to adjust the pickups, I had to do the intonation. But other than that, I mean, it, it is a great... That's my camera. Um, but it is a great guitar. And uh, this is... Uh, let's get this burst bucker in action. Let me turn my fan off. worth it front work is good pickups are cool good electronics um i gotta say that um like in my um i don't mean to keep talking crap about the ormsby but my ormsby guitar that i reviewed does not have as good of electronics for the, a guitar brand new is like one thousand eight hundred dollars brand new and it does it's like all chinese crap where this one's got the real deal so it's good